Hello and welcome. Welcome to this video and celebrate everybody because it is National Knife Day. Well, that was yesterday, on Saturday the 24th of August 2013. That was National Knife Day. This is obviously Sunday the 25th of August. I am... In, in response to the National Knife Day, I've set upon myself the, the small task of uploading a knife related video, at least one, every day from Saturday 24th to Saturday the 31st and including that day as well. So yesterday I uploaded the CRKT Swindle review. It's a review I did uh, quite a few months back. And I thought it was relevant because I saw that one of my subscribers liked a video from the CRKT channel. If you haven't already done so, please do go check out their channel. I'm not sponsored by them or any of that rubbish. Uh, but if you do, they have some kind of promotion going at the moment where if you like their video and or you subscribe or you put a comment in, you have a chance of winning uh, a swindle. It's not this particular model. I believe it's the one with the the ribbed uh, handle scales and the better steel, the Sandvik. But other than that, their design's more or less the same. So I'd suggest you do that because uh, this, this knife is very decent as I hope uh, it came across in the review. So that's a little shout out there. I thought I'd take it upon myself today to, yeah, I don't know why I had the bug there, but it's just something to look at, I suppose. But, uh, but yeah, I, I just thought that today, being Sunday, I would take you through a little bit of knife history. Uh, you, you might not know, you might not care, you, you, you know, I don't know about that, but I thought I'd go through a little bit of knife history with you all. Uh, some people learn better through videos and voice and talking to people rather than reading things. Hey, whatever works for you. So, this video is going to be a bit of the the origin origins of it. So, let's let's just talk about the origins of Knife Day, National Knife Day. Really, you always hear of National, you know, Save Energy Day, and all these kind of you know National um, wear red socks day. Well, maybe not that, but. You get what I'm saying. You, you you hear about these these things all the time. Well, well, actually, you might not find out the origin. Well, the origin of this particular day, I, from my research, limited research, I found out was actually only about two years ago. I believe that Blade HQ and a couple of other retailers got together and they decided to have their own Black Friday sale type of... Uh, discount thing going on you know like uh, Amazon do and and other retailers well they thought they'd do theirs and they thought they'd do theirs on the 24th of August every year so, and that only happened about two years ago so however I think you should have a national knife day <laughs> obviously this is a knife channel uh, it would be silly if uh, if we didn't but anyway so that's that's a little bit about that so the information about knives. I'm going to go through quite a few knives. I've got a few with me and we're just going to go through it. If you do know the origin of knives and, and all the rest of it, by all means, feel free to just, you know, go watch another video. That's that's cool. Uh, if not, and you, you, you want to stay, you might learn something. It is quite interesting, especially if you're in the hobby and you're enthusiastic about knives anyway. Plus, you're going to see some knives. So that's a good thing to stay anyway. So, uh, knives. Well, first of all, or what what is a knife? Well, and this seems a bit strange for a knife reviewer to do him to do a very basic video about knives. But a knife is is normally a cutting tool with with a cutting edge or blade. It's handheld or otherwise, with or without handle. So that's basically what a knife is. So this is a perfect example. This is a Spyderco military. It has a blade with a cutting edge and it has a handle. 
if it didn't have the handle and you just held it like that, it would still be a knife. This little Spyderco bug is a knife. This pocket floater, this C this uh, huh, CRKT, this case knife is obviously a knife. This pocket tool, a Victorinox. This is actually probably the first ever knife I I got. I was given when I was a kid right, by my father and I thought I'd put this in the video because it is National Knife Day and I would really appreciate if you put a video response or put just a comment below which was your first knife that you were ever given or or bought. Uh, you know we've got to go back to our roots and just celebrate where we got this enthusiasm for, for knives or, or this uh, you know affinity for them. Just a little bit about your first knife I think nearly everyone remembers receiving their first knife. Uh, obviously my one was this Swiss Army knife. It got battered and bruised and I really uh, used it and abused it. Didn't really care much for sharpening back then. But it has lasted me a long, long time. I looked, when I first got it, I looked for any opportunity to use it uh, around the house when I was there and just slicing tape, opening mail, helping with food, preparation, anything, all right? It's basically, some people will view it as a, a rite of passage um, into being more responsible and useful um, to others. However, for a lot of people, knives aren't just tools, actually. So it's one step further now. Knives can be a way of life if you're a carpet fitter, you probably will need a knife. If you're a fisherman, you probably will need a knife at sea. If you're a hunter, if you're a doctor making that first dis incision, the obvious one would be a chef or a rescue worker. Knives are essential elements to these people and obviously to, to all of us knife enthusiasts and collectors of course, but still they save lives, they aid in operations, they they help cut and prepare the, the fish and food that we eat or the rope that we use, okay? Anything you do in life, you, 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 you understand, you know, statistically, you can't really avoid being the beneficiary of a blade at some point in in your day-to-day, uh, week-to-week, month-to-month life. You, you can't avoid that. Um, and, unless you do everything yourself. But even every, if you do everything yourself, you're probably going to need a blade of some kind at, at, uh, at some, some time. So even though the knife or knives have been around for millions of years, um, they have still they're still here. They're still here, which is remarkable. Something so simple as being sharp and ma being made of steel, any kind of steel, it's still here. It's one of the most oldest tools that we have and it is still here. And that is despite of all of those people that have unfortunately misused the tool the, there's large companies like Victorinox and Spyderco who have, of course, through the centuries and now over the past five to ten years, even before that, have created some works of art. They really have. And they create high quality levels of knives now for everyday users. So, this video um about the national knife day is really about you taking a moment of picking up one of your knives and just admire take a take a moment to admire the simplicity and the usefulness um and the purpose of a tool that 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 man and woman obviously 
uh, has used for millions of years and hopefully we will be using them for millions more. That's unless lightsabers are invented in the next couple of years, but I highly doubt that. Anyway, anyway so yeah, that's a knife. Obviously, multi-tool here, uh, Leatherman Squirt PS4. So yeah, there's a knife on there. This Gerber EAB, it's quite good for uh, if you're a builder or carpet layer or whatnot. That locks, yeah, that's a knife. So we have many types of knives, and this is obviously not including your, your normal kitchen knives and things like that. Anyway, so <laughs> the information goes that knives, knives are obviously tools. There's a lot of stigma about knives being weapons. They can be used as weapons. A long flathead screwdriver can be used as a weapon. If you've seen the Jason Bourne films, I think at one point he absolutely kicks the crap out of uh, another guy with a rolled up magazine. So that can be a weapon. And also, I think he he uses one of those biro pens, just a plastic Bic pen, uh, against an assailant. So, we're humans, we can use a lot of things as weapons, we can use our own bodies as weapons with different um, martial arts and, and things like that. So, so anyway, enough about the weapons. Knives as tools. We've been using knives as tools for at least two and a half million years. Do you think in million years? That's absolutely, that's such a long time ago. It is a long time ago. You're thinking, well, anybody can say that. Where's your evidence? Evidence came from the old, older one tools. And they were basically, what, what they were found, these are rocks that were found millions of years ago. And they were sharp on, on the edges. So obviously our ancestors we're using them to cut meat, use them as weapons, obviously, but they were mainly used as tools. We can we can gather that. They used bigger stones to hit smaller stones and different types of stones to make sharp stones, and that's where knives kind of originated from, we believe. Now they were originally made of rock and bone flint and then we moved on to obsidian <laughs> before you say anything no you don't pour water over lava to get obsidian to make knives <laughs> that would be minecraft the thing about knives and the materials used is that that they have evolved with the te technology available at the time they've, they've moved along with the technology Knives were made of bronze, they were made of copper, they were made of iron, they were made of steel, what we have today. They're made with ceramics nowadays and titanium. Uh, a lot of divers have titanium knives for obvious reason, they're very high corrosion resistant, uh, but they're very hard and a lot of knife manufacturers now make uh, web tools with titanium scales. My EDC at the moment, it's just Sage 2, so they make them with the scales as well as, as the blades. Alright, so because they've been around for so long as kind of mankind's, mankind's, womankind's first tools, they've been around so long that a lot of cultures um, actually attach spiritual and religious significance to knives. They've been around that long that we're talking kind of biblical proportions in terms of what people think about knives and um, you know use them in rituals and all, all the rest of it. They have that attached just and that's not because of the type of religion or anything like that, that is just simply because they've been around for so long. We've used knives as tools since before we could make fire. Before we could make fire, before we could make light and warmth and cooking. I mean, cooking came quite a, a while after fire, but that's my point. 
we used these kind of things, well not these kind of things, but we used sharp objects to help us in our daily lives. But yet, there are the other forces that be are always trying to restrict your use of these very, very old tools. They're always trying to rest restrict it. And they will come at you with the excuse of, it's a weapon. They will come at you with the excuse of, um, it's not safe. They will, they will say, you can only do this, you can only limit this. And I believe that's what they're trying to do with uh, guns as well. Um, of course guns haven't been around as long as knives, uh, but you, you see where I'm coming from with that, and that might may well be a separate video. But, back to the knives. So today, knives are really, there's two, there's two forms of knives, alright? There are your folding knives, which, like this Sage 2, it's a folding knife. It has a blade with a cutting edge and handle scale and it may have a lock or not and it folds. That is, is one of your, your main type of knives today, a folding knife. It can, be, it can also be one of these which doesn't have a lock. It can be a pocket, it can be a, a pen knife and it can be a, a multi-tool but they're all folding. Okay, so that's, that's one type. The second type of knife that you, that you have today in the modern era is a fixed blade knife like this Mora Bushcraft knife it's a fixed blade it doesn't fold you can put it in a sheath and take it out but it is a fixed blade there's no folding part to it no locking mechanism nothing like that and they're really your main two types of knives fixed blades and folding knives all right, so that's a little bit about knives. That's a little, a little bit of history about knives. It's a kind of a an in, a, an appreciation of them, and it's a introduction to a small mini series that I am currently trying to create, where I will be going through more information about knives. I will be talking in the next video, which will be coming out in a few weeks time, it might even be a month's time, I will, I will carry on this video by talking about blades and handles, everything from the types of the handles to the types of the blades, the blade shapes, all, that, all those kind of things, and then that will lead me on to other videos and I will be talking about blade steels. Not in any particular order, but I will eventually be talking about blade steels, and they will have their own separate videos. And I hope you enjoy me. Uh, enjoy me. <laughs> I hope you uh, follow me on this journey because I think it's very interesting, and I think you'll learn an awful lot about different blades, about knives. It will enrich your knowledge about this hobby and about knives in general, so that you are more equipped in the modern world, you are more equipped to talk to other people about knives, explain why you're interested about them, and back all of those opinions with hard fact and knowledge, all right? It's hard to explain to another person that doesn't know anything at all about knives that they're not weapons that they are tools, that, they are, that they've been around with us for a long time and they should be with us for a very long time as well. It's difficult to do that, but follow me on this journey and we will, uh, we will get to a point where you're equipped to answer many questions uh, and spread the word of, uh, of of your appreciation of knives and and the hobby. I haven't seen anybody else do this this kind of video or anything like that, so I thought I'd take a step step up, catch the bus so to speak, and put it out there. Another fixed blade. So back on today on Sunday, 
what are you what are your what are your thoughts on knives well not in general but what are your thoughts because it's a knife video and you wouldn't be here if you didn't have some kind of positive thoughts about them but what are your thoughts on national knife day yesterday because it's it's obviously sunday today what what were your thoughts about it obviously do you think it's a good thing that we have a day of the year to celebrate it when you do a bit of sharpening when you carry an extra knife than you normally would uh where you carry your best knife or a knife that started it all for you. What were you carrying? And what will you be carrying all of next week? Because of course next week I will be uploading a video every day, something knife related. Um, it will be more reviews and unboxings and things rather than this, this rant and, and information overload. But still, you know, what are you going to be carrying? You know, please please uh, comment below and even create a video response of uh, of the knives that you were carrying on Saturday or that you will be carrying this week just write it in the comments anyway thank you very much for joining me today um, whatever you're going to be carrying this week do take care rate and subscribe this video Finger bang that thumbs up video if you think this is a good idea, if you think um, my continuation of the knife information and knife knowledge is a good good thing. I'd... And once again, thank you for joining me. Enjoy the rest of the videos this week. Take care.